I'm from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Yeah. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Mizzle, aka the instant burner, man. And I'm about to bring y'all a move, bro. This is pretty much needed because I know a lot of y'all on the part cannot speed boost. So you're trying to come up with dribble moves to get past your defender, get over for that open shot. And a lot of y'all sleep on this. A lot of elite players use this move, but a lot of people that are not elite do not really use this move, man. And it is very, very slept on. So today I'm going to show you how to do the behind the back momentum. I'm also going to show you how to do the momentum behind the back, which is totally different. I'm going to show you how to do both of them just so you don't think that this is a clickbait video but before we get started man if you rock with the kid i need y'all to do what, what what i always tell y'all to do man i need y'all to smash it like for me and if you don't smash it for me man smash it for shawty right here i'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds Appreciate that burner game. But the very first thing you always want to do when it comes to dribbling, you want to go to your settings and put your pro stick orientation on absolute. What this pretty much is, is left is left, right is right with the right stick anywhere on the court. You know what I'm saying? It makes dribbling a lot better, at least for me. Some people play on camera relative. I mean, it's a personal preference, but I would really suggest y'all put that on absolute. But we're going to get into the behind the back momentum first. As you see on the screen right here, this move never gets stole. You can do this move. You can keep spamming it, and you will never get the ball. You will never get the, the stealing animation, you know what I'm saying, with this move. But, and you know, just like you see on the screen, man, it creates space. But to do this, bro, let's say the ball is in your right hand. If the ball is in your right hand. What you want to do first, you want to flick back. Flick back on your right stick. Right after you do that, you want to hold in turbo and go in the opposite direction, which will be left with your left stick. And you will get this right here. Very, very simple and easy to do. You know what I'm saying? The next move, man, is a little more complicated. You have to get into your my, your, uh, my court and practice it if you don't know how to do it already. But the momentum behind the back, what you want to do, let's say the ball is also in your right hand. The ball is in your right hand. What you're going to want to do, you want to flick your right stick to the opposite ball hand, which will be to the left. Right after you do that, you want to hold in turbo and you want to go in the opposite direction, which will be to your left. Right after you get the momentum, the momentum uh, animation, what you want to do, you want to flick. Flick back on your right stick. Flick back on your right stick and, and flick your left stick back to the ball hand. You know what I'm saying? That will give you the momentum behind the back. This is a very slip. This move right here is very slip. No, you catch a lot of ankles, man. A lot of ankles. Pretty much 2K needs to turn it down. But I'm not I'm not going to trip. You know what I'm saying? 2K has so much on their plate. But yeah, this catches a lot of ankles, bro. I'm telling y'all, if y'all go do it in the park, you will be amazed. But that's it for today, guys. If this helped y'all in any way, don't forget to smash that like. If you're new to the Mizzle game, you're missing out, man. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button because I'm trying to help y'all with the little things in this game to help you succeed. And y'all already know who this is. It is your boy, Mizzle.